Would you believe me if I told you that we just got kicked out of our hotel? Hi guys, welcome to a new vlog. We are heading off to Mozambique again. I was looking at my flights and my pairings and everything and looks like my flights are a little bit different this week. Although honestly I have no idea how they're gonna turn out because my roster just keeps changing. Literally today my flights changed three times so we're, I'm not making any promises in terms of the one day off I'm supposed to have and possibly being able to take a walk, explore a little bit. I'm not making any promises on that. You know what I'm saying. Anyway, I just got to the office. I technically only need to be here in about an hour's time, but I thought I would come early. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Andy. I'm a Joburg-based flight attendant. I work for an airline in South Africa. We do charter flying as well as schedule airline flying. And yeah, for this vlog, it's basically going to be like what a mini charter trip looks like for me because a lot of our charter trips are the extended ones, which are where you go to a different country for a month or two. For example, I was in Mongolia from June through to August earlier this year. But this Mozambique one, we tend to go for about a week or so, which is really great because you get to have a little bit of a different environment, a little bit of a different pace, but you're still working. Hey guys, just made it here. Quick room tour. Here's the door. There's the bathroom. It looks very similar to what it did last time. Um, except this time I have a nice big bed. So we love that. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It's the next morning. It's Friday now. I am about to head downstairs to go and have breakfast with my crew. It is 8.50 and our pickup is at 9.20. We have an 11 a.m. departure. We're doing a four leg today. We're going to go from Maputo to Pemba and then Pemba back and then to Beira and back. So kind of a long day. The, the Pemba flights are about two hours each and then the Beira flights should be about an hour. I'm not too sure, but I'll get more details from the pilots when we brief. First things first, I need to go downstairs, have a big old cup of coffee or two, depending on how much I can fit in the next 30 minutes. And yeah, then we head out and we get this day going. <laughs> TikTok. Hello, TikTok family. <laughs> okay, we're on the plane and we just got to Pemba. It took us about two hours to get here and we had 71 passengers. We're apparently going back with a full flight 90 passengers and that means we'll be too heavy to go straight so we'll have to stop in Nakala to refuel or something like that. I honestly don't know. I don't understand it. But all I know is that we have to stop in Nakala um, but it's apparently a quick flight like 15 minute hop stop there refuel and then continue back to Maputo so you have a channel yes this is Munir say hi so you can see yourself on it he's our rep today that's helping us translate everything to Portuguese Everything was super hectic. We landed in Nakala just to refuel. Passengers were on board, obviously. It took us 10 15 minutes to do that, but obviously it delayed us. Um, and now we are back in Maputo. Luckily, we're staying on the same aircraft. I think we're supposed to swap and get onto a different aircraft, the one that's next to us. But luckily, they're letting us stay on this plane now because I think our next flight would be too delayed if we didn't do that. Everybody is on, it's a bit chaotic, but we're almost done and we're getting ready to do the flight to Beira next. Expecting to go to Beira with I think like 50 something passengers and then coming back full. And I just saw lightning, oh my word, there's gonna be a storm. 
Hey guys, I don't know why every time I come here lately, I'm so low energy. I'm so tired even today. Like the whole day was such a struggle for me, but it was such a good day. I did hit it with the exact same crew yesterday, the same captain, first officer and other cabin crew member. And we're going to be working together several times this week. And I already know like the vibes are on point. The banter is perfect. We tease each other, but we're also professional. We get the job done. You know what I mean? But all of us were just like on the struggle bus all of us it was so funny but at least we kept the spirits high and it was overall a good day we went to Beira with 58 passengers so that was like a nice quick one the service was easy it was a good amount of passengers without being too hectic and then we came back with 85 passengers so that flight was a bit more full a little bit more hectic boarding took a little bit longer but it was fine I think overall at the end of the day we ended up about 30 minutes behind schedule because of that because of having to stop in the color and refuel and everything so not terrible honestly it was still a good day on this last flight we had the minister of transport for mozambique i think on board and he was so nice of course he was traveling with his little posse and everything and it was so funny that i noticed that like myself and the other cabin crew like she had no idea who he was i obviously had no idea who he was but the ground staff told me we had a vip and like what he did but i still treated him like any other passenger that like, i normally would and the local representative was literally if he could have rolled out a red carpet for this man he would have because he was just so excited to be talking to him and to be like doing a little bit extra for him and stuff and that's just the one thing that i find so funny how different people like will approach that i have especially like the last couple of months i've had a few more like celebrities i want to say on my flights like i've got i've had some actors on my flights not like international superstars but like you know local celebrities of course i always get ministers of something on board and i've had presidents and former presidents on board and stuff like that and i tend to just lean more towards treating them like everyone else in terms of i'm still going to be friendly to absolutely everybody but i'm still going to be professional to everyone chances are i'm not going to be like oh my gosh you are such and such it's so amazing can i get an autograph chances are i'm not going to do that because i just imagine that like if you're taking your public transportation the last thing you want is to be recognized and treated like some type of way i don't know that's at least my approach to it if you're a flight attendant and you've ever had like a celebrity on board let me know like how you and your colleagues went about that situation i feel like celebrities also get recognized so much that like the last thing they want to do is to be recognized when they're just taking public transportation you know when they're just trying to get from point a to point b i was watching this airline review youtuber the other day his name is noel phillips and he was on a flight i think from harare to johannesburg on saa and he mentioned that when he was boarding the plane and you actually see it in the video when he's boarding the plane the cabin crew tell him because they can see his camera on his bag so they ask him to like please not film the cabin crew or whatever so he respects them and he's like okay cool i'm just gonna chill on this flight whatever and then he says that like a few minutes later one of the cabin crew came up to him and she said like oh my gosh mr phillips i'm so sorry i didn't recognize you because i guess one of them like knows who he is and she was like you're very welcome to film this flight if you'd like to and then he was mentioning that throughout the flight like they were just kind of blowing smoke up his ass you know like they were going so over and above that it kind of made him feel icky because they would say things like oh i hope the food gets a five star review from you i hope the service is worth a good rating to you check on him so much treat him like absolute royalty and he was in business class but he says like he was checked on in an hour and a half flight so much more than everyone else in business class and surely everyone else in the cabin as well because his cabin crew were trying so hard to get a good review out of him and i assume that that's kind of what like being a celebrity would be like is that as soon as people recognize you that much then all they want want is like say something nice about me or let's take a photo together or like i don't know but like that's just my thinking is just i i usually just try to leave them alone <laughs> i i usually just try to give them the space treat them the same way i would treat any other passenger i think i think it's like one thing to be like blowing smoke up someone's ass throughout the entire flight and it's another thing to be like truly fangirling like if it's somebody that you genuinely just love watching on tv or whose music really speaks to you and somebody that you truly admire if lewis capaldi or ed sheeran showed up on my plane 
when I tell you if I don't faint from excitement it would be a complete miracle like I would definitely start crying and like ugly tears not just like a normal like oh I'm so happy to meet you. no it would be horrendous and I would ask for a selfie and I would like tell them how much their music re resonates with me and just how much I love their music there's people that I truly admire that I would want to take a minute to be like oh my gosh I just have to tell you how much I love you but then there's other people that I'm like oh that's so cool that I met that person they are really inspiring and they're so pretty in person or whatever but like let's just leave them alone and let them do their thing and get to point b that they're trying to get to <sighs> yeah there was absolutely no need for that entire seven minute long tangent but hey I am tired and that is what is on my mind right now I'm gonna go and shower I have like a little sandwich from work as my dinner I'm gonna go and shower and I'll come back and I'll eat this while I watch some Netflix and then get some sleep I'll see you guys all tomorrow for this all over again <laughs> Hey guys, it's one o'clock in the afternoon the next day. I have only gone down to breakfast and I have sat in bed editing for pretty much the entire morning. I was up at eight o'clock. I mostly was just worried that I would get called out or that I would be used for a flight today, even though my roster has said that today is technically an off day, but my roster kept changing so much the day before I came here to Mozambique that I just really didn't want to jinx it, you know? So now that it's the afternoon, I feel like I'm fairly safe. I'm going to head outside and I was checking my Google Maps. I can go see like a fortress museum kind of situation, but it is in the opposite direction of the waterfront restaurant that I really want to go and just, you know, chill and hang out at and have lunch at. And I could do both. I could. In a perfect world, I really, really could. But I am just so lazy and I am so tired. Ah, oh, not in the mood to do both, actually. I'm really, truly just in the mood to have some good food, a good drink, and a little bit of sunshine. So the waterfront is a quick walk away, and I think I will do that and have some lunch there and then walk back and not make it too strenuous or too active of a day. So yeah, let's go to the Maputo Waterfront restaurant. That's where we're heading off to just to grab a nice lunch and have a nice solo date in Mozambique. Truly forgot that it might be useful to maybe pack a hat or a pair of sunglasses or something. <laughs> Hold up just a minute, been looking for some help just to find myself. Yeah. Been losing my focus like a thousand times before, can't take this anymore. Cause I've been looking for something to change thoughts into motion Been waiting way too long oh, Yeah, waiting just for somebody to love and to surround me And to handle my emotions I was out waiting for something And if I close my eyes, it's all been a waste of time I got some garlic butter prawns and a cheesy garlic roll. Waterfront mojito. Yeah. That's a strong drink. I think I ended up unknowingly at a flying fish pool party of some kind. There was girls like walking around offering us free flying fish beers and I don't drink flying fish, I don't drink beer. So I was like, oh no, I'm good, thank you. But I mean, it's such a vibe. There's photographers, there's some really great house music playing, the food 
was actually amazing. It was really, really good. I ended up also ordering a burger to go, which I hope is not falling over. You know when your food does that thing in your bag and it like, yeah, maybe I should just carry this. I ended up getting a burger as a takeaway that I'll have for dinner. And now I'm heading back to the hotel, but I'm walking like right here on the beach front, like right next to the water. The water is not very blue, which kind of sucks, but it's still a good view. The Maputo Bridge is right in front of me there. It's much closer in person, but there you can see it on camera. Really pretty sight. Also, I wish I liked coconut because there's so many people here selling like very fresh coconut water. And I've heard that it is brilliant here, but I don't like coconut. There's a pool here at this hotel that I never even thought to use, obviously, but I want to just feel the water quickly just to see how it feels, you know? Do not fall over, whatever you do. I know it's windy, but do not fall over, please. No, it's freezing. Oh my gosh, never mind. The pool water is freezing. There is no way. Plus, it's not like I brought a swimsuit. But it's just so nice and hot outside. I thought maybe, maybe. That was a lovely walk. I even passed this park where people were hanging out and it looked really nice and chill and clean and lots of trees for shade and stuff. But when I passed it in the morning, but when I left, it was much quieter than what it is now because I did think of like going there and just like sitting there for a little bit. But I think next time I'll maybe bring like a hardcover book to read so that I can, you know, just go chill at the park for an afternoon or an evening or a morning or something like that because it just seemed like such a nice vibe. But it is a Saturday today, so I think that's why it's so much busier. There's a lot of like... You can see it's like birthday gatherings kind of thing like people with cakes and lots of food and just big groups so maybe i'll go on a quieter day if i ever have like a late sign on or i finish work early the next time i'm here we'll see we'll see but that was so good i loved getting out going to the waterfront restaurant was really cool too i've got to say it had like some good music chilled vibes it was quite loud though so i feel like that's a place that i would probably go back with other crew in the evening if we wanted to but not some place that i want to go just to chill and have a nice like brunch but the food was so good i think i told you guys i brought back a burger to have for dinner and i'll just take it downstairs and have them heat it up for me later when i want to eat it and i'll show it to you guys then but yeah it's about 4 p.m now and i'm just going to spend the next couple of hours editing until it is dinner time here's dinner the staff here are so nice they heated my food up for me and they put it on a plate i think it was the traditional waterfront burger and it's got a beef patty it's got a egg and guys it's even got some prawns in there oh my goodness that is something else hopefully it tastes good i'm starting to realize that every time i come to mozambique i should just keep like a bottle of hot sauce in my bag or something or even those little sachets of chicken licking hot sauce would come in clutch because i always feel like i need hot sauce with everything that i eat especially our crew meals oh my gosh okay let's try this it's not bad it could use some seasoning it could use some sauce got some onions and tomato i removed the lettuce it's pretty tasty but it could definitely use some seasoning and i don't have any with me <laughs> i've never had prawns on a burger before good morning it's Sunday. I'm heading downstairs for breakfast and for pickup now. We're doing a Pemba and back and then Cape Town night stop. We're on the plane. We are ready. Expecting a full flight going to Pemba. Hopefully not so full coming back. What a hectic freaking day. We went to Pemba and on our way back 
Luckily, we only had 52 passengers, which meant we were light enough that we could take fuel for the entire trip because Pemba's runway is too short if the flight is like really, really full. We literally landed exactly on time at 4.40. Then we had to disembark passengers and then I had to run over to this aircraft that I'm on now because we're on a different aircraft and we're going to Cape Town. We're expecting 77 passengers going to Cape Town. So, should be a good one. Um, I've done all my pre-flight checks and everything like that. It's been super hectic. Um, I'm joining a new crew now as well. Time to go. Before my ice cream melts too much, I just wanted to show you guys my dessert. It is so good. It's creme brulee, and this is rooibos ice cream, and it is so good. And like a little van like shortbread, butter shortbread biscuit. It's so cool. I wasn't going to show you my room at all because obviously you've seen this room a bunch of times. But it was so funny. The other cabin crew and I got to our rooms, and we literally get to like my room door, and the doors open. And we're like, wait, why is my door open? And then we realize the door opens into her room and then my room, like right next to each other. And so we like looked at each other's rooms and it was so cool because we're like literally next door neighbors. But on top of that, we share a balcony. Isn't that so cute? Her room is right over there. Here's a little balcony. It's so funny. Maybe I should close this now. And there's the rest of the room. I'm really glad I get along with her because can you imagine being so close to a cabin crew that you like are just done with after a long day of flying and then next thing you're like on top of each other with your rooms that would be the worst. I already started unpacking usually when I show you guys the room like everything is still neat and tidy but I literally already started unpacking because we got dinner vouchers and so we decided to actually order stuff for dinner and then we had to wait for it so I started unpacking and stuff. I got like a little penne bolognese pasta. I'm not gonna eat it now it's 10 p.m. 10.24 to be precise. I'm gonna keep it so that I can have it tomorrow for lunch when I'm back in Moz. The last flight coming back was nice. We had 77 passengers, but the flight was so long. It was two hours, I think two and a half hours exactly, actually. It took us quite a while to get here. For the most part, the passengers were good. The crew were great. I told you guys I swapped over to a new crew. So new captain, new first officer, and new cabin crew. The cabin crew I flew with a couple days ago, but this morning I was flying with someone else doing the Pemba flights and then swapped over came onto this plane i'm just so excited to jump in the shower and to come back and have my creme brulee because i'm definitely having that now tomorrow i'm only flying the one flight back to maputo and then i'll have the whole afternoon off so that's why i thought let me rather take some food that i can have tomorrow that i can heat up really easily as well when i get to the hotel i actually do i even know what time i need to be awake tomorrow no i don't Stop, I am so tired. I fully passed out last night. I opened up my iPad to read a book to help me fall asleep. I don't think I made it two sentences before I passed out. But then you know what the worst part is? Don't you hate it? I don't know if this happens to everybody. I slept really, really well last night. When I woke up to pee, I came back to bed and I was like, oh, let's see what the time is because I had my alarm set for 5.30 in the morning. Of course, it was 5.17. So I missed out on 13 extra minutes of sleep that I could have had just because I had to go pee. I blame it on drinking water because I'm trying to drink water to like stay hydrated and get good skin, but I keep needing to pee and now it's messing with my sleep. <laughs> this will not stand anyway it's 20 past six now i'm gonna head downstairs in about 25 minutes i think we're gonna try to take the 7 30 a.m shuttle and i really need two good cups of coffee in between now and then oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Expecting 60 something. 
Would you believe me if I told you that we just got kicked out of our hotel? What a day it has been, guys. We literally landed from Joburg at 11.45 or something like that. And about an hour later, we got to our old hotel. But literally while we were on our way to the hotel that we were at up until today, one of the first officers sent a message and was like, hey guys, so everybody needs to check out of their hotel and we're going to go to a new hotel. So then we went to the other hotel that we used to stay at. That's got that beautiful sea view and everything got there there was a lot of confusion they kept us waiting and then they were like no you guys aren't staying here so now we're at a third hotel and we had to wait for like maybe 30 minutes while they processed us and everything like that and it's like a few of us other crew are currently flying so i think that's also going to be a bit of a mess when they get back and now we are here it is currently just after 4 p.m and i just got into my room 4 p.m. So tired, but the view outside is stunning. When we were waiting for them to check us in, we sat outside on the deck and it's like right in front of the beach. Like you can literally just walk out onto the beach, which is so cool. So I want to change and I want to go downstairs and I want to walk a little bit on the sand and just, you know, breathe in that fresh air again, a little decompress moment and then eat my food and definitely call it an early night because I am tired and tomorrow I have such an early morning and kind of a long day as well. But before all of that, let me do a room tour. This is obviously an older hotel, but there's the door. There's a mirror right over there. And this is the bathroom. Nice shower and everything. I actually love this tile here. It's kind of fun. I don't know what's in here. Is it a wardrobe? Yeah, it's just a wardrobe. There's a safe and extra blankets. Here's the room. It's like very simple, very basic. I do like the art. The ceiling fan is great. It does have a TV, a fridge and a coffee station right there, which is nice. And I have a little bit of a balcony and my room does not face the ocean. It faces the city, but like this is still a really good view. Oh, and I forgot to mention the reason we had to leave that hotel is because they just got like a really big group booking at the last minute and they basically kicked out everyone that was staying there because I'm guessing the group that booked and with them is just so large and in charge and staying for so long and paying such a premium that they're like screw everyone else <laughs> you guys can just be homeless i guess or something we got a nice new booking so toodaloo <laughs> on the beach in like a super aesthetic nice way but the water looks really dirty and gross and gooly little mints it's a no but it looks cool lovely but it started getting super chilly so i decided to call it a night my crew are still downstairs hanging out they're literally the exact same people that i'm gonna be flying with tomorrow so i'm still gonna see them i just really wanna how why can't i lock my door i'm not weird i just really wanted to come into my room get a good amount of sleep because i have to be downstairs at 5 a.m tomorrow I was able to order us breakfast boxes because breakfast only starts at 6 a.m. for everybody else. So if I have to be downstairs at 5 a.m., that means I need to wake up at like 3.30 in the morning and I need as much time to decompress and start doing like my nighttime routine as possible so that I'm like really well rested. I don't want to be falling asleep at like 10, 11 o'clock. I need to be like asleep by 9. And it's currently just before 6. So I already did my skincare when I washed my face after I took my makeup off. But I'm just going to jump in the shower, get in some PJs, watch Grand Designs. That's been the show that I've been watching a lot of lately is Grand Designs. I've been binging it. At home, I'm watching Grand Designs from the UK. While I'm here, I've been watching Grand Designs Australia. And it's 
been so cool but i'm also so jealous like how do people have such big budgets when i was downstairs the crew and i were chatting about george and where is the shoes you know that tiktok about the lady that finds the receipt for eighteen thousand rand from her husband for women's shoes and she's like but i don't have the shoes where are the shoes george george is just ignoring me as usual we were talking about that and we were watching like everybody else's videos in regard to that subject and how netflix even put up a billboard for these shoes from George. It's just so funny. Oh my gosh. Honestly, as an entire country, South Africans are hilarious and we are also just not serious. We are the most unserious nation on earth and I love that so much. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna say goodnight and I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. Go home day! Good morning guys. It's now, it's now Tuesday morning. It's 4.52 in the morning. I'm about to leave my room in the next few minutes to meet my crew downstairs because it's our pickup in like 10, 15 minutes. But we are doing, yo, today is gonna be, it's not like gonna be super hard of a day. It's just gonna be long, you know? I'm doing a Joburg and back, the early morning Joburg and back, which are like super quick flights, right? Like Joburg is like what, a 45 minute flight? So that should be fairly quick. So we're gonna go Maputo to Joburg and back and then I think we should be done around 10 o'clock in the morning then we have split duty so we come back to the hotel for a few hours and then we're operating I think a 5 30 p.m departure back to Joburg and that's my operating flight home and then when I land in Joburg I get off and my junior also is actually getting off and then the pilots come back with other cabin crew and then I'll get home it's just a long day simply because of the several hours in between and the fact that I'm waking up so early today but I'm literally not getting home until like 9 p.m. tonight. But it is what it is. It is part of the job. Oh, there goes the alarm. It's freezing here. Okay, we're still refueling. One thing about Mozambique is our flights are always super, super full. Like our passenger figures are always like above 70, above 80. It's just that boarding always takes absolutely forever, like easily 45, 50 minutes to board a plane full of passengers. I don't know what it is about Mozambique. It's like another planet in terms of on-time departure, but we do try our best. And so you can imagine the scream I scrummed this morning when Ops told us that we were expecting like 28 passengers coming here to Joburg because I was so excited to leave early. We could have actually left 15 minutes early, ended up only being about five minutes early because for some reason we had to wait like 15, 10, 15 minutes for the last three passengers to be brought over. I don't know what the confusion was with them, but anyway, we took off. The flight was really, really quick. We were still at like row four. And the FO made the announcement that we're gonna start our descent soon and we were like, nah, -uh. no we're not. But anyway, it was still a good flight. We're supposed to go back to Maputo now with 34, 33 passengers, something like that. And the flight's gonna be even shorter. Coming here took us 50 minutes and going back it should take us 40. It's gonna be even more of a scramble because everybody wants like tea and coffee and stuff like that, which is fair, it's a morning flight. So can't complain, just gotta work smart and fast on these flights. It's also just such a tease being back in Joburg, but knowing that like I can't get off the plane and take my bags and go home, oh no. Instead, it's just a turnaround. Back to Maputo we go. Back in my room. It is 10 past 11. The transport took so long to come and get us. We literally landed at 9.40 and the FO called ahead at 9.40 and said, hey, please, can you organize transport for us in 15 minutes? At 10 a.m., we were still waiting outside, no transport. So the captain went and asked again, and they were like, oh no, the transport is coming, don't worry, don't worry. Another 15 minutes went by, and we went up again, and we asked again for some transport, and they were like, yeah, no, the transport is just coming from the hotel with the crew that are signing on, they'll, they'll be right here. Cool. The transport arrived like 20 minutes ago and there's not a single crew member in it. We were like, then what exactly were we waiting for? So it took like, yeah, an hour and a half before transport arrived, which is fine. I'm grateful that it did show up eventually because now I'm back in my room. I have a few hours. I need to leave my room at 3.30 
for a 345 pickup because we're heading back to Joburg, right? I need to pack my stuff. That's one thing like I need to pack my bags first before I sit down and have a snack or anything like that so that when I set my alarm for 3.30 all I need to do is like get up and put my shoes on and head downstairs and then myself and the junior that operated this morning are staying on to do the flight back to Joburg and then we get off in Joburg and we go home and we get replaced by different cabin crew members but the pilots that we were flying with this morning they are done for the day we're gonna fly with other pilots in the afternoon I'm probably knowing me I I am probably going to edit for a couple of hours. I've already turned my laptop on, but then I also want to take like a nap for an hour. We'll see. We'll see which way we go. Time to go home. <laughs> Baby, give me a sign.